Hey YouTube mentored one here with the next update on the Darwin Pond evolution experiment. We're at 785,000 ticks now. Quite a bit of time. Last time we had uh, these like pink and yellow things, which you can see a few of them left. The seahorse species, I think we were calling them. They've been completely overrun by the faster moving green and blue ones from the last experiment, uh, which I thought of thought was going to happen anyway, but they pretty much dominated now. All the food is almost gone. Yeah, they still got the same type of locomotion, like a seahorse type of thing. Um, they move pretty fast. There's a lot of them. It looks like they did interbreed with the previous color. You can see a lot of strange color variation cropping up but it looks like the green and the blue ones have almost become dominant now so we'll take a new example of the species here to add to our collection And we'll replace the uh, original seahorses with this one. This will be the thoroughbred version of the seahorse now. It looks like they pretty much have taken over. Um, I'm debating whether or not to introduce an invasive species now or later. I think I may wait a little while and see what happens as the, uh, the food dwindles. But see, all these guys are out of food now. They've eaten their way into the corner and there's nothing there. Um, a few have come out this way and the old ones are in the front. I mean, they stand a chance now if they can get to the food of recovering a little bit. But I think the speed and the swarming mentality, if you look at the swarms of these things, it's probably going to end up winning it out like these right here are moving in a pretty tight group. But we got another color variation over here, like a sprite color, a yellow and green. And they appear to be like, there's a couple of them, but not many. They must be a recent mutation. Interesting, the seahorse creature that has evolved has come a long way, as we can see. It's gone from a weird menagerie down to just this species that's taken over. I'm going to let this play out, um, I think in the next check-in I do for this experiment, I will uh, let it run as close to a million ticks as I can and see where it's at and if it's still the seahorse species, then depending on the color, it looks like it might just be color variation at this point, unless there's a mutation that gives one of these members of society an advantage, whether it's speed or turning or... Um, you know, just the ability to uh, find the food faster. I think uh, next time we may introduce one of the older species that I evolved in previous experiments and see what happens when we introduce an invasive species into the ecosystem, how this one responds. So I'm going to let this run for a little bit. Um, we got a few different color variations. We'll see if these green and blue ones maintain the dominance or if these, you know, lime and lemon seahorses over here which are starting to crop up in a little group we'll see if they uh rise up at all and we'll see if these pink and yellow ones go into extinction there's still a few of them quite a few of them left and um i know i've seen in the past that the genes can be dormant like the if these green and blue ones become super dominant and uh later on down the line you may see these yellow and pink ones crop up again as like a mutation from like a dormant gene that comes up I've seen old species suddenly reappear in the gene pool. Um, colors that were extinct reappear. So there's some interesting things going on. And uh, if you're a nerd like me, this is pretty fascinating. But um, it looks like this is going to be the hot spot down here with the uh, winter, with the dominant species moving in, and these the old guard here still hanging on, and the new lemon lime ones um, emerging. So we'll see what happens. We'll see as these as these battle right here and intermingle and breed. Who knows what will come out of that. So we'll check back on this next time and um, 
maybe we'll introduce a, uh, a predator into the thing and see what happens. So uh, thanks for watching YouTube, and uh, if you're interested in this, uh, keep in touch. Peace out.